For a decade, my friend and colleague, Nicholas Christakis, and I have been studying social networks. We live, eat, and breathe social networks. They're, they're what make us who we are. And one of the things that we've done in our research is we've looked at virtually everything. And what we've found is that virtually everything we feel, think, and do can spread from person to person to person. To your friends, to your friends' friends, even to your friends' friends' friends, to three degrees of separation. What this means is that everything we do can ripple through the network, affecting people that we see, but also, in some cases, dozens, maybe even hundreds of people that we don't see. And so networks are really important. And I think that we at TED, we really know that these networks are important. And for that reason, we have really been interested in the question, what happens whenever we have this TED conference to our social networks? And to answer this, we actually conducted an experiment last year. In this experiment, we had you, the members of TED, if you come together, you're networking, you're meeting people, we had you tell us about your new relationships. And we specifically asked you to tell us uh, give us a list of the people that you had an interesting conversation with. And while we were doing that over the course of the day, we had a real-time map, the social network map, that was showing where each of you was located, and people would come up and say, oh, I'm connected to him by two degrees of separation and her by one, and it was this thing that happened over the course of the day. But since then, we've been able to actually compare this network to another couple of networks, the Twitter network of the same people before the conference, and the Twitter network of the same people after the conference. And so we have before, at the conference, and after, so that we can actually start to think about how the network changed. And when we do that, we come up with actually six ways that we think that TED actually changed our networks. First of all, we have a capacity in this conference to connect to diversity. So what do I mean by that? In real world social networks, we tend to connect to people who are like us. Men will connect to other men. Uh, women will connect to other women. Democrats will connect to other Democrats. There's not this mixing that, that goes on in normal life that we see at TED conferences. Because when we looked at people's interests and their gender, there was no correlation between the person who named the, the person in the conversation and the person who was named. And so that's one way the networks were very different from these real world social networks. Another thing that we found that was very different from real world networks is this tendency to have equal access. And what I mean by that is in a real world social network, there, there's a really this rich gets richer phenomenon where what we find is that the people um, who have most of the connections, they tend to attract more of the connections. But at TED, it seemed like people were mixing with one another. We had an average of four connections per person, and almost everybody had less than 10. And so it was really this, this demo democratic way of sharing our connections with other people that's, that's something that, that I think is, is unique to this conference experience. We also looked at the Twitter net, uh, network in order to see how the networks might have changed before and after. One of the things that we found was that people at the conference tended not to talk to the people that they already knew. 72 of the conversations that people reported um, were to new people out of the 75 total new conversations that, that people um, told us about. And so almost all of the, the new connections were to people that were not connected on Twitter before the conference. And after the conference, um, the number of people who were connected to at least one other person who was at the conference went from 47% to 57%, which means that people were staying connected and forming those connections online so that they could continue to have these conversations after the TED conference ended. We also saw a doubling in connectivity. So the average person on Twitter went from 1.2 to 2.4 connections to somebody else who attended the, the TED conference. And so it wasn't just increasing new people into the network, it was increasing the number of people who were already in the network, how they were connected to other people who were involved in the conference. We also saw that this didn't just extend to friends, it also extended to friends of friends. And so two people would have an interesting conversation with one another, and we looked on Twitter later on, they were much more likely to be connected closing the triangle. Um, and so what we really see is that this network is, is something that TED has a huge impact on. We don't just live here to be informed and inspired. We actually take this forward into our lives to impact the networks that we have locally and presumably use these networks to be able to implement some of the wonderful things that we hear about in the conference and some of the wonderful ideas that we're inspired by. And last, one of the things that we found in these uh, networks is that whenever you send a connection to someone, what typically happens on Twitter is, is it's not always the case that someone follows you back. But the number of mutual follows actually went up from 16 to 40. And so this is really starting to look like a real-world social network, one that's capable of making change in our world. 
And so I don't need to give you guys any lessons in how to do this. You already know how to do this. I'm just here to tell you um, this is what we do. We connect to people, we learn about new ideas, we develop these networks, and we take these ideas forward. And the reason why we do this is because we don't believe that we're on the sidelines. To paraphrase Gandhi, we all believe that you must be the change you want to see in your network. Thank you.